As a part of the rules of the NFL, the rosters need to go from 90 players to 85 players as of today. And ironically enough, number 85, Tim Tebow, was amongst those cuts. As NFL rosters trim down, the Jaguars wave five players, one of them being cornerback DJ Daniel, another one being Josh Imatorbebe, wide receiver Tim Jones, defensive tackle Daniel Ross, and tight end Tim Tebow. Now, obviously, the Tim Tebow really hiring or whatever you want to call it, the acquisition, came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, it was draft time. Like the day before the draft, we were like, okay, the Jaguars are going to be trying out Tim Tebow at tight end. Now, I remember at the time, it was kind of cool, kind of exciting, but I know myself, I did not actually expect him to make the roster. I put it at like a 10 to 20% chance or something like that. And, you know, some people kind of talked me into maybe him having a greater chance at making it just because of his relationship with Urban Meyer. You know, maybe it would be hard for Urban Meyer to cut a guy like that, especially since they're like neighbors and, you know, all the history of winning the national championships with him. But, you know, after this last game, uh, it really proved that after, you know, we all knew that Tim Tebow, look, he can go out there and catch the ball decent. He has some athleticism, but can he block? And the answer to that question was a bunch of memes stating that he could not block. And um, there were some embarrassing moments, obviously, the tight end position. It's a big transition for him. I mean, he's a guy that went from playing quarterback to all of a sudden going to baseball to coming back at an older age to play tight end. And unfortunately, he just could not do it. And we all wonder, like, what is the next step for Tim Tebow? Is he going to continue to try to do this? I mean, he's a guy, he doesn't need football in his life. He has so many things going for him when it comes to him professionally, whether it's being a host on like college game day or, you know, the different things that he might do when it comes to his religion and stuff like that, or different sponsorships. I mean, the guy makes a lot of money and he's ultra successful at life. But with me, a lot of people were up in arms about, oh, they should not bring in Tim Tebow. You're wasting another player's opportunity. I think when it's all said and done, though, if somebody, if some player sits down with his grandchildren, the reason why he did not make it in the NFL is not going to be because the Jaguars decided to bring on Tim Tebow instead of him. Just my personal opinion could be wrong, but I mean, I thought it was at the end of the day, I know a lot of people say, oh, like this is a bad move. Why they bring in Tim Tebow? Such a horrible example. I know for me personally. It was cool seeing Tim Tebow in a Jaguars uniform. You know, I grew up a big Tim Tebow fan. He was, uh, you know, going to Nice High School. He played football with us at our church one time, uh, played some flag football with us. And then I was a big Gator fan, saw a bunch of his home games, saw him playing a national championship for him. I know for me, it was a little bit of nostalgia, but I also understood how much of a long shot it was for him to make the team. And I'm not all up in arms about how I am upset about how they cut Tim Tebow. I mean, he deserved to be cut, and I'm honestly surprised that he was cut this early. You know, I thought maybe they would give him a chance to kind of get down to the 53-man cut down, but, you know, I do think that on the team, it might set a bad example if they cut a tight end that's doing better than Tim Tebow. And uh, I, also, I also don't think that Tim Tebow was any kind of distraction. He never went and spoke to the media in Jacksonville. He, the Jaguars never really put him on a... Uh, spotlight in any sense besides selling different merchandise at Dick's Sporting Goods and whatnot. Um, it was a cool, nostalgic type of thing. Uh, but at the end of the day, he just wasn't good enough at the position to make it. So with all that said, we can move forward without Tim Tebow now. Um, always got to give props for someone who's living out his dream, especially after he's failed at a couple different things. He's failed at baseball, now he's failed at tight end, but he does keep getting back up and does keep trying. So we'll see. If he continues to try out this dream, I don't know if he will or not, but uh, no matter what he does, I'll support him with it. He's a good guy um, and all that stuff. So with all that said, man, let me know what you guys think of the move and also some of the other roster moves. I know for me personally, it's kind of disappointing seeing Josh Imitra Bebe get cut. Um, he was just injured, you know what I mean? He could never play, and I thought that this might be you know, the Jaguars' undrafted free agency diamond in the rough, you know, kind of like the Keelan Coles or the Alan Hearns, one of these guys that came out of nowhere, or even Alan Lazard. I thought he could have been that kind of player, but unfortunately with him being injured, he was never really able to show that off. So uh, we'll see if maybe the Jaguars put him on the IR. Maybe they can bring him back next year. We'll see. But all right, guys, thanks, thanks once again for watching, and go Jags.